Hello and welcome to Cloud Learners Journey Part 3 of Azure Administrator Associate Real Exam Questions and Answers with Explanation and Reference Links, which you can find in the description. So let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to our Cloud Learners Journey YouTube channel to help you pass the AZ104 exam and become an Azure Administrator Associate. Question number one. Your company has an Azure subscription. You need to deploy a number of Azure virtual machines using Azure Resource Manager templates. You have been informed that the VMs will be included in a single availability set. You are required to make sure that the ARM templates you configure allows for as many VMs as possible to remain accessible in the event of fabric failure or maintenance. Which of the following is the value that you should configure for the platform update domain count property? And the options are A10, B20, C30, D40 and the correct answer is B20. Each virtual machine in availability set is assigned an update domain and a fault domain by the underlying Azure platform. Each availability set can be configured with up to three fault domains and 20 update domains. We discussed it in part two that the question was about the fault domain and here the question is about update domain. Next, question number two. You have an Azure subscription named subscription one that contains an Azure Log Analytics workplace named Workspace one. You need to view the error events from a table named event. Which query should you run in Workspace one? And the options are A, get event event where dollar underscore the event type equal to error. B, search in event in the quotes with error c select star from event where event type equal to error d search in event star pipeline where event type equal to error and the correct option is b search in event error to search a term in a specific table add the table name just after the search operator there are several versions of this question in the exam the question has two possible correct uh, answers event pipeline where event type equal to error and the other one search in event error next question number three you have azure subscription that includes following azure file shares it has the table with name in storage account and the location. Share 1 has the storage 1 with location West US. Share 2 has the uh, same storage uh, account with storage 1 with West US location. You have the following on-premises servers. Again, the 7 1 uh, with the folders uh, D uh, folder 1 and the E folder 2 and the server 2 with D data. You create a storage sync service named sync1 and an Azure file sync group named group1. Group1 users share one as a cloud endpoint. You register server1 and server2 in sync1. You add D folder1 on server1 as a server endpoint of group1. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Here for the statement share 2 can be added as a cloud endpoint for group 1 and the answer is no. A sync group contains one cloud endpoint or Azure file share and at least one server endpoint. Second statement a folder 2 on server 1 can be added as a server endpoint for group 1 and the option is no. Azure file sync doesn't support more than one server endpoint from the same server in the same sync group. And the third statement, D data on server 2 can be added as a server endpoint for group 1. And the option is yes. Multiple server endpoints can exist on the same volume if their namespaces are not overlapping. Next question number 4. You plan to use the Azure Import Export Service to copy files to a storage account. Which two files should you create before you prepare the drivers for the import job? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. And the options are A. An XML file, manifest file B. A dataset CSV file C. A JSON configuration file 
D, a PowerShell PS1 file. E, a drive set CSV file. Here, before import job, you need to prepare the drives for the import export. So the options are B, a data set CSV file. E, a drive set CSV file. We need to modify the dataset.csv file in the root folder where the tool resides, depending on whether you want to import a file or folders or both. Add entries in the dataset.csv file. Next, question number five. You have an Azure subscription named subscription one that contains the resources shown in the following table. It has the name, type, location, resource group. And the resource group one type of resource group uh, with the location west us and the resource group is not applicable similarly you see the other resource name type location and resource group in storage one you create a block container named block one and a file share named share one which resources can be backed up to vault one and vault two to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area so for the answer area first one can use vault one for backups and the option is vm1 vm1 is in the same region as vault one so to create a vault to protect virtual machines the vault must be in the same region as the virtual machines and for the second answer area can use vault two for backups only to share one so the storage one is in the same region west us as vault 2 share one is in storage one next question number six your company has a microsoft azure subscription the company has data centers in los angeles and new york you are configuring the two data centers as geo clustered sites for site resiliency you need to recommend an azure storage dependency option you have the following data storage requirements data must be stored on multiple nodes Data must be stored on nodes in separate geographic locations. Data can be read from the secondary location as well as from the primary location. Which of the following Azure storage redundancy options should you recommend? And the options are A. Geo redundant storage B. Read only geo redundant storage C. Zone redundant storage D. Locally redundant storage And the correct answer is B read only geo redundant storage read only geo redundant storage allows you to have higher read availability for your storage account by providing read only access to the data replicated to the secondary location once you enable this feature the secondary location may be used to achieve higher availability in the event the data is not available in the primary region this is an opt in feature which requires the storage account be geo replicated Next, question number seven. You have downloaded an Azure Resource Manager template to deploy numerous virtual machines. The ARM template is based on a current VM, but must be adapted to reference and administrative password. You need to make sure that the password cannot be stored in plain text. You are preparing to create the necessary components to achieve your goal. Which of the following should you create to achieve your goal? Answer by dragging the correct option from the list to the answer area. And we have the options. And the correct answer is an Azure Key Vault and Access Policy. Key Vault will store your Key Vault page, but you still need to configure the Access Policy to determine the level of access that a service principal can perform against the Key Vault. Next, question number eight. You have an Azure subscription that contains the storage accounts shown in the following exhibit. Here we see the storage accounts uh, with name Condeso 101 with type storage account and the kind storage V2 in the resource group RG1 and the location East US. Similarly, we see further other storage account name Condeso 102, 103 and 104. Use the drop down menus to select the answer choice that completes each statement based on the information presented in the graphic. In the answer area, you can create a premium file share in Conteso 104 only. Premium file shares are hosted in a special purpose storage account kind called a file storage account. 
or the second area you can use the archive access tier in Contessa 101, Contessa 102 and Contessa 1034 only. Next, question number 9. You have an Azure subscription that contains the storage accounts shown in the following table. Here we have the table uh, with the name, type and the performance. Storage 1 has the storage type, storage V2 and the performance with standard. Similarly, we see for the storage 2, 3 and 4 respectively. You plan to manage the data stored in the accounts by using lifecycle management rules. To which storage accounts you can apply lifecycle management rules and the options are A. Storage 1 only B. Storage 1 and Storage 2 only C. Storage 3 and Storage 4 only D. Storage 1, Storage 2 and Storage 3 only E. Storage 1, Storage 2, Storage 3 and Storage 4 and the correct option is D storage 1 storage 2 and storage 3 only the lifecycle management feature is available in all Azure regions for general purpose v2 which is a GPV2 accounts blob storage accounts premium block blobs storage accounts and Azure data leak storage gen 2 accounts but not to the file storage next question number 10 you have an Azure subscription that contains a storage account named storage 1 you have the devices shown in the following table. Here we see the uh, column name and the platform. So device 1 is with Windows 10, device 2 with Linux, device 3 with Mac OS. From which devices can you use AZ copy to copy data to storage 1? Options are A device 1 only, B device 1, device 2 and device 3, C device 1 and device 2 only, D device 1 and device 3 only and the correct option is B device 1 device 2 and device 3 for all the devices so AZ copy is supported in all these three operating systems which is Windows 10 Linux and the Mac OS next question number 11 you have an on-premise server that contains a folder named D folder 1 you need to copy the content of D folder 1 to the public container in an Azure storage account named contessa.data which command should you run AZ storage block copy start d folder 1 https and with um, contessa.data.blob.co.windows.net forward slash public similarly we see further other options and the correct answer is C AZ copy D folder one https contoso data dot blob dot code dot windows dot net public with recursive. Next question number twelve. Your company has an Azure subscription that includes a recovery service vault. You want to use Azure backup to schedule a backup of your company's virtual machines to the recovery service vault. Which of the following VMs can you backup? Choose all that apply. And the options are A VMs that run Windows 10, B VMs that run Windows Server 2012 or higher, C VMs that have not been shut down, D VMs that run Debian 8.2 plus, E VMs that have been shut down. And the correct options are all of them. Azure Backup supports a backup of 64 bit Windows 10 operating system. Azure Backup supports backup of 64-bit Windows Server operating system from Windows Server 2008. Azure Backup supports backup of 64-bit Debian operating systems from Debian 7.9 plus. And Azure Backup supports backup of VM that are shut down or offline as well. Next, question number 13. You have an Azure Active Directory tenant named contestocloud.onmicrosoft.com. Your company has a public DNS zone for Contessor.com. You add Contessor.com as a custom domain name to Azure AD. You need to ensure that Azure can verify the domain name. Which type of DNS record should you create? And the options are A. MX B. NSEC C. PTR D. RRSIG and the correct option is MX. To verify your custom domain name, 
Sign in to the Azure portal using a global administrator account for the directory. Select Azure Active Directory and then select custom domain names. On the custom domain names page, select the custom domain contour. On the contour page, select verify to make sure your custom domain is properly registered and is valid for Azure AD. There are several versions of this question in the exam. The questions can have two correct answers. One is MX and the other one is TXT. Next question number 14. Your company has an Azure Active Directory subscription. You want to implement an Azure AD conditional access policy. The policy must be configured to require members of the global administrators group to use multi-factor authentication and an Azure AD joint device when they connect to Azure AD from untrusted locations. Here the solution is, you access the Azure portal to alter the grant control of the Azure AD conditional access policy. Does the solution meet the goal? And the options are A, yes, B, no. And the correct answer is B, yes. Conditional access policies support built-in rules. Conditional access policies are not enforced for other role types, including administrative unit scoped or custom roles. Next, question number 15. Your company has an Azure Active Directory, Azure AD subscription. You need to deploy five virtual machines to your company's virtual network subnet. The VMs will each have both a public and private IP address. Inbound and outbound security rules for all of these virtual machines must be identical. Which of the following is the best least amount of network interfaces needed for this configuration? And the options are A5, B10, C20, D40. And the correct option is A5. A NIC is a component which holds the public IP and the private IP of the VM. Also, you can associate the NSC, which is a network security group, to the NIC. Here it needs same inbound and outbound rules, so create NSC and attach to a NIC, which will fulfill the request. Here we end with part 3. Thank you for watching part 3 of Azure Administrator Associate Real Exam Questions and Answers. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and comment for more related topics. We look forward to continuing the journey with you in next videos. Thank you.